Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you're watching CBP Nets video series on C++ STL series and this topic is about list. So yesterday we saw a forward list which is nothing but a single link list and today's topic is list and this is a double link list. So don't ask me why it is list. <laughs> I don't have any answer for that, okay? But list is actually a double link list, what we know from C programming language, if this was your first programming language. So list is a sequence container. I don't know, did I talk about this sequence container and this ordered container and unordered container? So this particular topic lies into a sequence container. So there are three types of containers. First is sequence, second is ordered container and another one is unordered container and it allows non-contiguous memory allocation. So let's just quickly draw this double link list. So your double link list looks something like this. We have this header here and as it is double link list, we have two pointers. This is a pointer location and this is also a pointer location and this is your data location. So we all know that in double link list, your node look like this, okay? So we will have data here. Let's suppose one, two, three, four or some object and this place is for your left hand side node and this is for right hand side node and that's what you can see here okay so for this particular node we have this one as right so from here to here and then the left node is this one so from here to here so each and every node inside this will have something like this okay so list is faster compared to other sequence containers and it is faster in terms of insertion, removal or moving elements here and there. But the important point is our position iterator should be there with us. So what I mean is, let's suppose you have, uh, let's suppose you have so many nodes like this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Okay, so reverse is also there. I'm just quickly drawing this. Okay, now what you want is you want to insert something in between two and three okay here then doubly linked list is faster provided we have the iterator i mean let's suppose you have this list here list one and what i'm saying is we want to insert something here right so let's some insert something in between these two i mean two and four then in that case you should have the iterator for that particular position then you can directly insert that in between i mean what you just have to do is just create this maybe you want to insert eight or something then what you will do the next would no longer be this i mean the previous of this one would be this one and the next of this one would be this one and the previous of this one would be this one and next of this would be this one okay and this connection is gone just think if you are supposed to do the same thing in vector or array i mean array doesn't provide that but in vector let's suppose you have this one two three five six and you want to insert four here i mean four is missing right so you want to make, make it look like this something like this four should come here for this what you have to do for vector is you have to internally create another vector i mean i said initially your vector is like this you have to create it like this internally what it will do it will create an empty array inside vector it will copy one two three from here, I mean from here to here, and then it will place four here, and then five and six will be copied. So can you see that there are so many operations involved? And yeah, lastly, it have to delete this, okay? After copying everything to the new vector. But can you see in, in this case, we just added one node without any trouble. We just change the pointer, three, four operations, hardly. And if you're thinking it is not very big difference, let me tell you that if this vector is very big vector, maybe the size of the vector is maybe thousand or even more than that or lakh or something or million, then it is a really very, very big problem to actually create that much big array and then copy everything. So that's why it is called very faster in terms of insertion, removal and moving stuff here and there. Okay, now let's move to the next point. We should use this class instead of traditional doubly linked list because it is well tested, correct? Because if you are using this list, which is coming from STL, then you know that, okay, somebody have created this class and they have tested thoroughly for you. So there is no leakage or there is no problem in this doubly linked list. So 
instead of creating your own WL English class and working on that, I would prefer using this as a base class and then you, you just do whatever you want, wrap it or do something, but do something on this. So this is a very good thing for starting. And second point is bunch of available functions. Yes, this is really very important because mostly you will be using all these functions and I have not listed every function here. I just created this list so that you can get the idea about this double list. Okay. So the first thing is operator is equal to means you want to copy this list one into list two, something like this. And if you do this, you can just simply say list one is the equal to list two semicolon that's it then list two will content will go into list one and let me tell you one thing if this is the case like we have list one data list two data and you assign list two into list one using this equal operator then list one data will go from this list it is like you are copying this data into this and discarding this already available data here and this is what the traditional behavior of this equal to is i mean if x is equal to 10 and if you will initialize s is equal to y where y is of some 20 then this 10 is gone right so this is what will happen here also assign is very simple you will assign number of elements inside this list front and back this is very important we did not have this back in case of this forward list i mean singly linked list but we have this back function front and back means if suppose this is your list then front will give you this and back will give you the last one this is what the use is empty it will check whether this list or whatever it is empty or not so it will return true in case of empty size we did not have this particular function in forward list but we do have it in double link list and it will give you the size of the list max size obviously it will give you the number how many elements you can have inside this your double link list clear means it will clear your list now let's start from here like insert and place pushback insert is as the name says, it will insert the data for you. Emplace, I have given a video for this. I won't be discussing about this much. Emplace means there is some optimization involved. So please go ahead and watch my video on Emplace. Pushback, this was not there in forward list. Pushback, pop back, push front and pop front. Pushback means it will insert that element in the end. And pop back means it will delete that element from that end. And same push front means it will insert element in the beginning and similarly pop front means it will delete the first element from the list and similarly reverse it will just simply reverse it sort will actually sort your data so let's do the practicals and we'll understand a little better so now just see the output of this one so I'll just simply compile this execute this so see we have list one data and list two data so this is fine right so let's do some operation i wanted to sort these right so let's do this let's go ahead and compile this execute this and it should be sorted see two two four five six one six seven nine and this is a sorted order so merge will actually merge tooling lists so let's quickly do that also i want to merge list one merge list two then we will have list one and list two merged inside list one. Let me comment out this one. Otherwise it will be unnecessary of outputs. Execute this. See the data is one, two, two, four, five, six, six, seven, nine. So this have actually merged these two double link list. So this is quite easy, right? I mean, we don't have anything to learn here. I just wanted to show you how quickly you can get double link list feature in your program without actually writing it so we have these many functions and yeah splice unique splice does nothing just move one lists contained into another list so let me just show you that and if i'll compile this execute this see we will have these two lists seven six one nine five two four six two so you said that splice list two from beginning itself so what it will do it will append this full content in the beginning of this one okay so that's what we see here right because when i talked about this operator equal to i said if you will initialize this one into this one then this full content will go off right so let's just quickly see that also 
if you will do this list one equal to list two it means you will delete list one's content and copy list two here so we can quickly view that see we have list one equal to list two only see seven six one nine and list two is also seven six one nine and we are printing list one don't mistake here so there has to be some way to actually merge these two right so this splice is actually for that purpose only and wait a minute guys there are so many versions of all these almost all the functions like splice and remove insert and place they all have different different versions of these functions sometime someone will take two arguments three arguments i don't know so depending on your situation you can actually choose what overloaded function you want for your use case so unique will actually remove duplicates from your double link list let's quickly see that so we have this two comma let's suppose again two here and we can see this list one dot unique and let's compile and print this i'll compile this and print this see the point is as this is a linked list it will make linked list unique in terms of adjacent nodes what i mean is if this is two and another two will come just after that then only it will be considered as duplicate otherwise see we have two here and two and two here but it just removed either of these two okay from here but this two is still there correct so if you will add another two here it will still remove these two two or these two two or i don't know this one or this one just implementation but it will remove adjacent duplicates so don't be mistaken here it will not make your list unique if elements are scattered here and there so there has to be adjacent so that you can actually remove them and wait a minute i'll i'll tell you a quick trick you just do one thing list sort them if i will sort it obviously this two 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 will come together and then it will remove so let's quickly compile this execute this now see two four five six we have no duplicate here so did you like this video if you did don't forget to hit the like button guys and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this i'll see in the next videos guys bye bye and if you have any suggestion for me please drop a comment and if you want some specific video you can give a comment for that i'll try my best to bring that if that suits the current requirement thanks again bye bye